I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to 6pm content. I haven't seen anything, although it is 5 past 6, so... We should be able to find out the prices of things a bit quicker. They, I, I saw maybe two players or something, like an outline of something on Twitter. I was like, no, nope, I want to be surprised. I hate seeing what's coming before I actually look. Uh, yesterday, of course, uh, spoiler alert for some reason, if you haven't seen yesterday's 6pm content, we got Alan flashback, which I thought was quite good. Um, compared to what I got on my Road to Glory as well, it's actually very good. And used him, brilliant card. Will I keep him? I'm not sure. Uh, but with that being said... Oh my days. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Phil Foden, uh, Summer Heat, and of course, Fabinho, Summer Heat. Now, these two are actually in Team of the Week um, prediction sort of territory. Uh, Phil Foden has grabbed himself a goal or two the last couple of weeks. Fabinho scored one of the best goals you'll ever see and a great assist as well uh, against Crystal Palace. And now they've been pitted against each other, if you will. So one of these will get boosted either to a 95 or both will go to a 93, depending on the result. I have a bad... I'm a Liverpool fan. I've got a bad feeling. Not that it really matters if we lose every game between now and the end of the season, but it would be nice to just maintain what we've done uh, and not sort of... I wouldn't say ruin it because, you know, we won the league, right? So I would obviously love to see Fabinho go to a 95. I really would. Phil Foden's card, though. Let's have a look at that first, because obviously I'm least interested in that. 5-7, high, medium, 4-star, four 4-star, four which is very good. That must be an upgrade, 4-star, four 4-star. Four and then that is a brilliant card. I don't care about the reactions being that low, because his sprint speed, ball control, and agility is that high. Reactions shouldn't really make too much of a difference. Even as a 92, that is a great card. It really is. The question is, of course, how expensive is it? Is it going to be like it was for Diaby and Botius? The other question, of course, is has Diaby been upgraded yet? 83 and an 84 for Phil Foden. Is that cheaper or is that the same price? I feel like that's cheaper. I thought it was 84, 84. I don't know. That's banging, though. I'm a big fan of that. I'll, I'll probably do that and I'll probably do this as well, to be fair. Uh, let's have a look at the card, though. Oh, I, can't, I genuinely can't wait. Three star, three star. It's okay. He's going to be a CDM. Um, his shot power is 98. Long shot's only 81. It would have been really nice to see that go up. But, of course, if he does get the 95, we'll see that increased, I'm sure. His passing is sensational. Uh, great dribbling across the board. Agility of balance a little bit on the low side. But as a CDM, you should be fine. And then great defensive stats. Unreal physicals. Both of those cards. Banging cards. Is this the same price? Yes, it is. The Diaby and Botius cards were a little bit different, weren't they? I don't know if these are different in sense of, like, chemistry. Either way, though, I think both of those are really good value. And, and even as 92, even if they didn't boost them to... Uh, even if the game gets cancelled and, and we don't play a single game between now and the end of the season and they both remain 92, still good value in my opinion. We're either going to get both 93 or one of them will go to a 95. Either way, I like it. Uh, have we got a, a pack for today? Foot 17 has been dropped, which is a jumbo premium gold pack. Thanks, EA. You're treating us. Um, Two-player pack as well, of course. Uh, it's tradable, so I suppose you can't really complain too much. 77 rated team with a brick slot. It's going to be more so 78, 79 rated team. I'm not going to do that one, to be honest, because it's effort for a 15k pack. I don't think it's not worth it. Because if you've got what you know you need in the club, you can just chuck it in and why not? But I, I mean, I could do without it. You know, it's it's if it was twenty five k, thirty five k, rare rare electrum or something. Yeah, sure. But I'm all right with it. Uh, Kai Havertz was already there. Those two were already there. Prime Icon was there, and that's it. So yeah, fair play. Um, I like both of those. Obviously, as a little fly around my face, as a Liverpool fan. More inclined to do Fabinho, but on the other hand, I kind of want to do that on my road to glory. So on this account, I'm going to do Big Phil. Um, here we go. 
What packs do you get back? I didn't even look at that. Jumbo Premium Gold and a Prime Mix. Not the best packs in the world. I, I feel like they're different. 80 and 75. I feel like they're a little bit different. 75 and 70. Yes, yeah, so less chemistry required on Fabinho for some reason than Phil Foden. I don't really know why that is, but hey, it is what it is. I'm going to complete this and then we'll do something else. This club is beer right now. I need to do a lot more upgrades on this. Uh, but that's the team I'm giving up for the 84 rated team. It looks overkill because of the 88s. Uh, well, the 88 and the 87 and then 284s. 384s, 484s. But it's because I'm using really low cards like Gomez and Zabaleta and stuff. And I just have to do it for chemistry. The chemistry is a killer in this. If, if this was a 50 chem, 60 chem thing, I, I wouldn't have to use some high rated cards and I could get away with it. But either way... Doesn't matter. Um, Phil Foden, in my opinion, will be a pretty damn good card in this game. More than happy to submit that. And we'll move on to the 83 rated team. I should be able to do that. I don't know if that's more chemistry. I think it's I think it's 80 chem, isn't it? Yeah, this uh, see, 80 chem is gonna be it's gonna be a real killer. And that's the team I'm giving up for the 83. I just gave up in the end and just bought Bonucci. I've I've been here for so long trying to do this efficiently, and I just thought, nah, screw it, I'm just getting it done. Um I'm all right with it. Pack Pjanic yesterday, bought Bonucci. I did a couple of 82s to 88s to help me along. Got a Marek Hamšík that I need to put back into the club. But Phil Foden is now a member of this club. And of course, I will do Fabinho on the road to glory. Well done, EA. Um, tomorrow, probably. And uh, I will have both of them reviewed for you. And of course, when EA decide to upgrade these, maybe in September or uh, October next year, uh, I will, of course, do the reviews for the upgrades as well. We're still waiting for Diaby, who, I mean, you know, what they won the game two, three days ago now, and he still hasn't been upgraded. I, I just, mad, absolutely mad. How hard is it, right, to have the cards upgraded ready to 93 or 95, and then as soon as the result comes in, flick, even if you have to do it 6 p.m. the next day? I don't understand what the holdup is uh, it's honestly it has to be just laziness that's that's all it is just just oh well they've already done the card we're not getting anything extra from it who cares we'll do it when we can be bothered to do it they probably don't even remember this is a thing either way phil foden summer showdown i'm not sure why but my camera has frozen so i've had to take it away i don't know why people are hating on this card to be fair i mean 160,000 coins this is coming in and he has the potential to go to a 93 or a 95 or obviously stay as he is. I don't think that's a bad price at all to be paying for this card. I mean, yeah, okay, does it, it's not without its problems. The The reactions on paper don't look great. That will pull a lot, put a lot of people off. I don't think that's going to be a problem because he's got the, the ball control, the agility, the pace. You should be fine. He, It's not... I think people get confused with reactions and input delay. I, I don't think that the reactions really do an awful lot in this game. Uh, and then, of course, he's got insane passing. Who cares about the free kicks? His shot power is great. His long shots, yeah, needs a little bit of work. Finishing's decent. Positioning's great. I just don't really get why people don't like this card. Four star, four star as well. Has he got any traits? No, he doesn't. But still, if that, I mean, if that goes up to a 93, you're going to get a couple of points, maybe one point on, on everything. And if it goes up to a 95, you're going to get like three or four points on everything. There's absolutely no reason to not like that card for 160k. The only bad thing about it is having to make a decision if you can't afford to do both, I guess. Uh, but, I mean, with Maestro, for example, get that uh, reactions up to 85. The, the dribbling's now to 99. The ball control's now to 97. Uh, you do fix that free kicks if you're really that interested. Long shot's good at 92. And you've got a 96-rated Cam, who is 5'7", and is going to fit the, the meta of the game very, very well. I like it. And that's coming from an opposing fan. Either way, let me know what you think of the two SBCs in the comments. I think they're both very good value, whichever one you decide to do. Of course, it's anybody's guess who wins that game. Uh, either way, you've got a 92 rated card that is going to be very, very good regardless of if it gets upgraded or not. Um, but to be fair, they are relatively cheap to, to the point where you may be able to do both of them. Now, uh, we didn't get anything good in, in that pack, unfortunately. I'm just going to discard that. And then in the second pack for the Prime Mixed, 
We are going to get... It's going to be a board. Hello, be a big boy. Help me out. I just... Nope, never mind. I was going to say, help me out. Offset the price. Argentina, CDM, Ava Benega. Of course it is. Just gave him up. I've got him back again. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. Like these days, you'd think he would be nothing, right? But yeah, he's about 4K. Crazy. Uh, and then he's normally expensive. He's... Yeah, okay, not bad. Not bad. I'm happy with that. I'll, uh, I'll take the... What, 3K? Let me know what you think of both the SBCs in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed today's content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index, the game changed. Download the app now.